just an aside from exactly what you just said. I used to be a workaholic. I really was, and, and I still can work. But uh, I used to be a workaholic. I mean, I, I wouldn't take time off for anything. And, and my mentor, a guy named Rudy, used to say, Stu, you work too hard. you got to stop working. And I, I was always for, well, if I slow down and work, I won't make as much money. He said, no, 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 it's absolutely wrong. If you slow down and working, you'll make more money. And it just didn't make any sense to me. And finally, he just kind of beat me on the head and made me. He made me take holidays. He made me, I mean, I won uh, trips to Hawaii uh, in this company that I was with. I won trips to Hawaii for free. I, I, a week on a 108-foot yacht for free. And I, wouldn't, I didn't want to go. I went, but I didn't want to. And he was the one who convinced me that I had to go. And what I learned was <coughs> the less work that I did, the more time I thought. And the more time you think, if you use productive thinking, the more effective you will be at the work that you do. The more effective that you are at the work that you do, the better deals you make, the more money you make, the less time you need to work. And it's just a circle. It's all just a circle. It's just hard when you're in your own workaholic circle, it's hard to jump out of your workaholic circle, uh, and it's hard to jump into another circle because you're always trying to jump back into the circle. It's that mind change, that perspective. That commission, uh, commission sales are philosophy about, you know, everything I'm doing this week is, you know, for two weeks out. And if I stop this week now, I'm already freaking behind. And, and, and if you can't, and I, I, I did that. I used to sell law books door to door to lawyers. Tough business. Uh, but that was the commission. <laughs> Knocking on lawyers' doors. Wow. It was <laughs> you were condescending. The only thing that made it worthwhile for me was I made more money doing it than most of the lawyers I was selling law books to. So they would look at me in a condescending way, and I'd just go, I'm just trying to make a living. And I'd make them feel good. And say, would you please buy it? And they would. And I'd walk up, get out. <laughs> you know. uh, but, but here, the, the point that you're making is this. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, they were very expensive. But the point that I'm making is this. When you're in that kind of a business, the mentality that you're taught from the company level, head of the company, all the way down, is what did you do for me today? Yeah. Isn't that true? Right. And so we you begin... Start all over again. And that's right. Once you get your paycheck, yeah. you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you want to work for us anymore, bring us some sales. Right. And you get into that mindset or that mentality, and you, you convince yourself that you need to do this stuff every day, and that's not true. Uh, one of the things I say to people all the time, and, and guys, if you ever learn how to do anything well, learn how to do this well, it'll make you money in everything you do, especially in the commercial arena, because there is thought involved in this arena. But if you learn to do anything ever well, learn how to stop, step back, and think for a few minutes before you do anything. If you learn how to do that well, many times it'll keep you from doing things you shouldn't do, and many times it will help you do the things that you should do better. Okay, but most of, how many people do you know who really stop and think, as opposed to just do and do and do? Okay, and it's, <coughs> it's huge. It's huge.